What's happening? It's Jareth back at it with some Marvel Snap for you guys today. And in today's video, we are playing with Agatha Harkness. Well, I guess she is playing our deck for us instead. So Agatha Harkness, a very interesting addition into Marvel Snap. And um, with us now rocking a full collection, thought it would be fun to come up with our rendition of Agatha and the deck that she is best suited for. So who is Agatha Harkness and what is she doing in our deck for us? So Agatha Harkness is a six mana, 13 power character with the ability of starting in our opening hand and she is also going to be playing our deck for us. So rocking that 13 power is nothing to shrug off and with her, we're really trying to allow some big creatures to go out onto the field and utilize her playing them out for us. So with her not only starting in our opening hand, we still get to draw our cards upon uh, starting the match, right? So we're still getting that additional one card in our hand and essentially kind of thinning out our deck a little bit more so to draw into some of our bigger players within the deck. So Agatha, very fun card to play around with, playing our deck for us. What is she going to be playing? So a lot of fun cards that we have in this one, a lot of big creatures, one of them being Magneto. So Magneto just got this new sweet uh, variant for him here. So six mana, 12 power on reveal, moving opposing three and four cost units to his location is pretty nice especially when we're you know not able to really play how we want to with Agatha kind of taking control so in the later bits of the game if we do get to play uh, Magneto then we're going to be moving some stuff around which is rather nice if again we didn't secure a location off the bat. Dr. Octopus just wanted to really showcase this cool variant that we have for him. Kind of looks dorky, but pretty fun at the same time. Dr. Octopus pulling four random cards from our opponent's hand onto this side of the battlefield means that we know what we have to beat at that location and rocking that 10 power is no joke either. So when Agatha does play Dr. Octopus, uh, we're likely going to be trying to win some of the other zones unless we know they pulled a bunch of low power uh, characters into that location. Captain Marvel is really nice as she's just gonna ensure she can move around and ensure a victory on a location we weren't maybe thinking was gonna happen. So being able to move at that last bit of the game means that wherever Agatha decided to play her, doesn't necessarily matter if she moves to that winning location. So being able to do that was an easy add-in into this deck. Ghost Rider, so we are playing with the Ghost Rider Lady Sif combo. So Lady Sif, essentially we are wanting her to target Agatha and or Magneto. Obviously if we play uh, Lady Sif into Agatha, we gain control back of our deck, which is uh, nice when we're able to take control and play out some of those bigger power plays. And being able to rock out that Ghost Rider Lady Sif combo is just a really nice addition. Jubilee is in here as well, so again, really showcasing that higher power that you can rock out with Jubilee. Jubilee playing a card from your deck at this location is really nice, especially when we're getting into some of our bigger power plays with Captain Marvel, Dr. Octopus, Magneto. Swordmaster. So Swordmaster was an interesting choice for me. Reasons he's in this deck is he is nice for three mana, six power, so rocking out some high power and does discard a random card from our hand. So really is acting like an additional Lady Sif to potentially chop up Agatha for us. And if not, him being able to chop up something else and Ghost Rider being able to play it later is still a pretty good uh, feature to, to rock out. And still six power is really, really nice uh, as you know we can't really decide where the cards are being played. So being able to play that where uh, we need it is nice. Wave, Wave is an easy addition to this deck as Wave is also allowing Agatha to be played early, such as Lady Sif, right? 
So on reveal, next, car next turn cards in both players' hands cost four. Now the way Agatha works is she will always play herself if she can. So the fact that Wave makes it a turn four play for Agatha is just a really great way to add in some additional power onto the board. Electro, so Electro is really here to, again, kind of pump up our mana curve and allow us to play some of those big bodacious creatures out there into later bits of the game. On reveal, adding one max energy has a slight downside of ongoing, you only can play one card per turn, but based off of our curve, that's likely happening anyways. So thought it was a good addition to kind of bump up our mana consumption and allow some better plays later into the game. Psylocke, so Psylocke also a sweet new variant we had into our collection and she being a two mana one power is pretty light but the fact that she is on reveal adding one energy to our next turn does mean that we can play out some of our bigger creatures right our bigger characters and essentially allowing us to potentially rock out something later that's much much better if we don't get to use that mana we are soaking it up with sunspot sunspot as you guys know one of my favorite cards in marvel snap being able to convert that mana into power is a great way when we don't really get to decide how our cards are laid out. So not only get to showcase the sweet gold background, but being able to soak up that mana is what we're looking for him to do. So overall guys, we are naming this deck Agatha, Agatha Harkness. Uh, we weren't too sure how this deck was gonna play off, but honestly pulls off quite a few victories and being able to snap out some of that power is really what we're looking to showcase in this deck so if you like this video guys like and subscribe for more we're gonna hop on over to the deck gameplay and we'll see you over there thanks for tuning in we'll see you over all right guys game one featuring agatha harkness the agatha deck opening hand we do rock out with Agatha, of course, and not too bad of an opening hand. We do have Lady Sif in hand after that Olympia, so we will be likely playing out Lady Sif, chopping up Agatha, and taking control back into our hands. So let's see what happens. Okay, Lady Sif does go down. Perfect. So let's take control back from Agatha. Opponent is rocking a Nova pretty early here, so maybe we're seeing the Destroyer decks. I know that's been fairly popular as of late, this patch. Boom, there goes Agatha, that's just fine. And Waves, we could play Wave, but we don't know if that's going to be adding too much value for us. We could also play out Swordmaster right now, but the problem is, is I'm too worried Swordmaster is going to chop up one of our crucial cards in hands, and I would rather save that for Ghost Rider the following turn. So I actually will be playing out Wave this turn. Not my favorite play, but I would rather get something out than nothing out. Kingpin. Interesting. Kingpin with a Nova. I don't know if I've seen that before. So we have some options. Wave comes out, allowing us to play whatever we want in our hand. We could choose to play our Ghost Rider on curve, but we could also play Captain Marvel a little early. What that means for us is in the later bits of the game, we can kind of keep Agatha safer by waiting to play our Ghost Rider. So, oh, there's Captain Marvel from our opponent. Nice. We'll give him a thumbs up on that. Okay. What do we want to do? We could play Dr. Octopus into the Baxter building. Just pull everything out. Why not? That sounds like a fun time, right? If we pull everything out, that means... Okay. Interesting. Killmonger before... Oh, okay, Iceman, didn't want to destroy the Iceman. Doc Ock. Shang-Chi, oh. What are you doing, Shang-Chi? Destroying my Doc Ock. There's Enchantress. Final turn, all right, all right, all right. 
So, Ghost Rider, Sunspot. I believe this is going to be our best play. Ghost Rider pulls out Agatha in case our opponent snaps. I maybe want to do something different. Is this gonna work? This will win us the middle. I'll try it. Magneto pulls over Wave, that's fine. Here's why I think Agatha, Sunspot, Captain Marvel. Higher, further, faster, baby. Nice. Nice. So took back control from Agatha in this one. We did secure that victory. Being able to drop that Ghost Rider into Agatha is a great play with Lady Sif in there. And again, showcasing why Captain Marvel is very crucial and, and able to move around as we can't play how we want to all the time. So making sure she rocks that out was very nice. Awesome. Let's get you over to the next one, guys. Alright guys, looking at game two here for ya. We are going against Ashurio. Alright, so what is Agatha going to be playing for us this game? Opening hand with a Sunspot into the Super Flow, which is nice. Sunspot did not go into the Super Flow as well, which is good. Alright, Sunspot taking advantage of that. Very nice. So hopefully... Agatha decides to play Wave. Yeah, perfect. So Wave being played ensures us Agatha will be coming next turn. So let's do it. Wave it up. Cloak. Into Nightcrawler. So featuring some move characters from our opponent. All right, Agatha, put yourself over here or something, please. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Awesome. So this is looking really good for us, guys. Snap. You know how we do it here. Agatha going down does mean we like what we see. So next turn, what are we going to be doing? What does our opponent do? Kazar. So I think we got the better play with Agatha. And we get some conversion from Sunspot as well. Very, very nice. So the Super Flow gives us the advantage of being able to play Magneto right now. We're actually going to use Magneto. We're going to turn off the Super Flow for both us and our opponent. We're kind of in the higher bits of the victory. And ooh, an Iron Man goes down for our opponent. But... That stinks, guy. All right. Captain Marvel is going to go down again. We'll tie ourselves up here in the middle. Electra. A little unfortunate destroying our sunspot here, but not the worst thing to happen for us. So what do we got now? We have last turn, opponent has Nightcrawler here so they could still win something here in the middle and they're likely gonna be playing onto Iron Man because they wanna utilize his bonus. Three cards in their hands. We have two cards in our deck which is Dr. Octopus and Lady Sif, I do believe. So if we pull out Jubilee, ah, doesn't matter. Opponent mathed it out. They did not see a victory in sight there. So awesome, another great way to ensure some victory by rocking out Agatha nice and early. Perfect, let's get you over to the next one, guys. All right, guys, game three featuring Agatha Harkness, our Agatha deck. We are facing Owen Lee in this one. All right, opening hand, we got an easy way to play our Agatha later. We got Limbo, which is definitely interesting for us. 
Lady Sif likely going down here on turn two, which is gonna be really good. Chopping up Agatha and giving us control back into our hands. Zero, so what is our opponent playing zero into? Maybe they are rocking a Cerebro deck, a Cerebro. Possibly, if they play Domino, that's what my best guess is gonna be. But Lady Sif, great play for us. Lizard. I kind of like that play. Lizard got the nice bonus with one power point and zero into Lizard. It's actually not bad. I like what you're doing there. Okay. So what are we doing here? We could either play Swordmaster or we could play Electro. What looks best? I kind of want to keep my cards that we are rocking in hand since these are some pretty nice ones. So we're gonna play out Electro. A little unfortunate, we're gonna only be able to play one card per turn, but the bonus of adding that extra mana to our hand is still pretty nice. Okay, okay, okay. So Cosmo's over here, right? We're not gonna get the trigger from Cosmo by playing Doc Ock, so I actually am not too upset about this, I don't think, right? It's not bad. That's fine, I don't mind. We'll play into Atlantis, it's likely we were gonna do this anyways, because we're, we don't wanna play in Lechugula. All right. Magneto is going to be pulling threes and fours, so this is Typhoid Mary. We could play Magneto in the middle. We'll shuffle some rocks in our deck, but we have some good cards in our hands anyways, so I'm not too upset about drawing into rocks. So we will go ahead and rock out Magneto here. Interesting, so kind of buffed up their Atlantis with Doc Ock over there. That's fine, so turn six. We're gonna play Captain Marvel. We're gonna play her on Limbo over here just because she'll be able to move into one of these other zones potentially, right? So I think doing this is the better play for now. What does our opponent want to do? It's Electro. Oh, all the Sinister Six uh, people have some cool ones like Sandman's, right? How he's got like the sand coming through Electro. Shocking us out of there. Kind of neat, right? Maximus Venom. Hmm, can't say that's what I was expecting to see. All right, last turn. What do we want to do? So Swordmaster is probably gonna be our best play. Six, we got eight mana to play around with though. Would it be nice just to have Sunspot convert it all? Captain Marvel can move around for us later if needs be. So seven, eight versus six. I think Sunspot's the way to go. We could argue we could go somewhere else, but I'd rather contest this Luchigla, I think. We'll give it a shot. Enchantress, okay, that's fine. A rock and a rock. Oh. Boom, big conversion. Nice, very nice. Awesome. Agatha, what do you got to say? I take card XP from the undeserving. It's kind of my thing. Pretty nice, awesome. Good victory there, guys. Let's get you over to the next one. All right, guys, game four. This one going against Lingarts.
I like the Wolverine. I don't think I've seen that Wolverine uh, picture yet from, from anyone, so nice. Okay, so opening hand, a little mana hungry in this one. Hopefully we draw into some of our lower curve players. Wave, okay, so at the very least, Wave turn three is going to be pulling out Agatha, so hopefully we maintain that plan. Lady Sif, okay, that's fine. Drew Lady Sif, Lady Sif gonna be chopping up Agatha or Magneto. We'll see how it goes. Ooh, wow. We'll give our opponent one of those, that's pretty nice. Okay, Lady Sif did chop up Agatha, giving us control again, which is great. The Avengers compound means we're gonna have to play on this next turn, but Klin Klein is closing up so i want to say we're going to go ahead and ghost rider here so ghost rider ensures we're getting some more power over here and can potentially beat out this bishop as our opponent decides to snap i'm not scared though we're snapping back i like what we're seeing here ghost rider going down i like it and then our later turns, what are we going to be doing? Nightcrawler. Okay. Agatha. Nice. Lock that down. Very good. Avengers Compound. We drew into Doc Ock. Does Dr. Octopus feel like our best play right now? What do we got in our opponent's hand? Three cards in hand. They have to play here. We'll pull something out, which would be maybe some destroy effects. I think so. Let's do it, right? Let's go snappy snap. Shang-Chi. What is with this? That's our second Shang-Chi destroying Doc Ock. And Carnage destroying it too. And Deathlock. <laughs> oh, opponent. I, I'm sorry. Okay. One card in hand from our opponent. Can we beat it out with whatever we draw right here? I do believe Captain Marvel is going to secure our victory. If they decide to play into the Shadowland we'll win the compound, we'll, we'll tie the compound, but we'll outwin the tie. Is that better or is Magneto better? Pulling over threes and fours. Threes and fours. This is gonna turn into six. Magneto, do, 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 do. We can do this instead. Sure. Oh boy. I think we win the tiebreaker or it's close. Dun, 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 dun. Nice, won that tiebreaker, very nice. It was close. I didn't really expect that America Chavez right there, but it didn't matter. Agatha coming in clutch again with that Lady Sif Ghost Rider combo. Very nice, guys. Let's get you over to one more game. All right, guys. Last game we are playing featuring Agatha Harkness. And, man, been looking pretty good. Been seeing some heavy plays. That last one was real close with the tiebreaker. But overall, as you guys can see, sometimes just being able to rock out that better uh, mana curve, dishing out some bigger... Uh, Characters is just the way to go, so not too shabby. This one we are looking at Lady Sif again in our hand, but we also have Psylocke. Oh, so we're just gonna play them both, right? Thanks, Elysium. Black Widow. Sure, we'll take the Widow's Bite. That's fine. Agatha gets chopped. Psylocke adds up the mana for us. And we have the Vault. So we're gonna do something like this. 
Actually, I want to put the Widow's Bite with Doc Ock. Doc Ock, pull him on out. What do we got? Iron Man. Leader. Doctor Doom. All right, so we need to beat 10 power over here, which doesn't seem too shabby. We'll play over here for now. I don't think that's a bad idea. If Captain Marvel isn't gonna cut it over here, she at least can move to one of these other locations. Oh, there's a Doc Ock of your own, huh? Okay. Electro. Mana up. And Magneto. Nobody to move, but that's fine. All right, this is locking up. Wish we had a sunspot right now, soaking up that additional mana, but wave right now, little hit or miss. We wish we had something a little bit larger to showcase, but we do what we gotta do, right? Nobody to move their own Magneto. There goes out our wave. Swordmaster. Yikes, so unfortunately we are not looking too good on this one. Captain Marvel is not going to be able to win us this zone over here, and what do they got in hand? Three cards in hand. Whatever they play is likely going to beat out two, and we're not going to be able to beat out the Sumeria in time. So unfortunately this one we're going to end in surrender, but hey, you know, can't win them all right. But overall, still a fun way to showcase this Agatha deck. And you know what? When you can't play your entire hand by yourself and Agatha doing it for you does mean you're going to have some inconsistencies. But overall, winning four out of five games is not too bad and can't uh, be too upset about it at any given moment. So overall, guys, a really fun deck that you can showcase with Agatha. And this one, Agatha, is what we stuck with. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more. As mentioned, we are really close to 200 subscribers onto this channel, and I would really truly appreciate for those of you who stuck around to this point in the video to like and subscribe for more. And uh, overall, we have been seeing some great progress in Marvel Snap and can't wait to see what's next. But that's all we got for you guys today. We'll see you next time.